Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch and interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, a mathematics teacher. Uh, in today's lesson, we inform to lesson 10 and the topic is gradient and equation of a straight line. And the subtopic is linear equation of a straight line. On to the lesson objective. Uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, number one, uh, plot uh, uh, the graph whose gradient is negative, and number two, calculate the equation of a straight line whose gradient is uh, negative. Uh, the first uh, objective, you are supposed to plot a graph whose gradient is negative, and number two, you are supposed to calculate uh, the equation of a straight line whose gradient is negative. On to the equation of a straight line, you have a question here. Uh, plot uh, on the Cartesian frame, you should read a uh, plot on the Cartesian frame and uh, calculate the gradient of uh, line BC with coordinate B, 5, uh, uh, 1 and C. Coordinate C is supposed to be 1 and 4. And therefore, what are you supposed to do? You are supposed to plot uh, where we have the coordinate B. Uh, you can see it is at uh, 0 0.5 uh, on the x-axis and 0 0.1 on the y-axis. So there is a, 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 a point there where the B is located. Then you go and you plot point C, that is 1 on the x-axis. You can see 1 here and you rise up, up to where we have 4 on the y-axis. Then you put another point. Then the two points you are supposed to join them with a straight line. As you can see, it is well illustrated on this Cartesian plane. Uh, then after that, you uh, you uh, commence uh, to calculate the gradient. Uh, the gradient of a, uh, a straight line is calculated using this method and the gradient is equal to change in y. You can see uh, there is change in y here. You are supposed to divide the change of y change in y-axis, you divide by change in x-axis. And you can see um, using the, the coordinate c, we have 1 and 4, and therefore the value for y, it is 4, and therefore you are supposed to take the 4 uh, as y2, uh, the value for y2 for the, uh, for, for the second coordinate, that is c, and the y1 should be 1. And therefore you are supposed to uh, say y2 minus y1, uh, the y2 is there for the second coordinate, and y1 for the first coordinate. And therefore, change in y becomes 4 minus 1. And uh, the, uh, the change in x-axis should be x2, that is 1, uh, for, the, uh, for the second coordinate, that is coordinate c, and a, uh, x1, that is uh, 5, uh, for the first coordinate. And therefore, you're supposed to say uh, 1 minus 5, uh, 1 minus 5, uh, that is, gives you the change in uh, x-axis. And therefore, the numerator becomes uh, 3, because 4 minus 1 is 3, and 1 minus 5 you are supposed to get minus 4 and therefore I shift to the negative upper side so the answer becomes negative at 3 over 4 or negative 3 quarter is our gradient of this abstract uh, line um, uh, equation of a straight line uh, how do we co uh, uh, proceed uh, after getting the gradient, we have calculated the gradient and we have seen the gradient is negative 3 over 4. And therefore, in order for you to get the equation of a straight line, you must use one of the coordinates. And in this case, I've decided uh, to use point C, uh, 1 and 4, as our coordinate when it comes to calculation of the e uh, equation of a straight line. And find uh, how do we calculate the equation now? Uh, the equation of a straight line, you are supposed to state gradient is equal to change in y or change in y uh, over cha change in y uh, over change in x you are supposed to get the gradient and you can see the gradient which i uh, i calculated uh, in the first question uh, which was negative 3 over 4 i am equating it with change in y and therefore i must uh, present another unknown coordinate in terms of x and y and therefore i will say change in uh, x change in uh, change in y should be y minus 4 for the uh, for the non coordinate that is uh, one and four the coordinate is one and four and the unknown coordinate i'm not supposed to use b and in place of b i am going to use x and y and therefore i will say y minus four uh you divide by 
uh, change in x which is supposed to be x minus 1 you are supposed to get the previous gradient that we are uh, calculated and therefore you cross multiply as you can see well, that is exactly what I've done and after cross multiplying you will get 4 into bracket y minus 4 uh, in, uh, you close the bracket is equals to negative 3 you open the bracket x minus 1 then you close the bracket then you open the bracket uh, you will get 4y minus 16 is equals to negative 3 plus uh, 3 then uh, you're supposed to shift the 16 to the right hand side and therefore because it was negative it becomes a uh, positive and therefore the equation reads a uh, 4y uh, is equals to minus 3x plus 19 then you're supposed to divide uh, each and every term by uh, 4 so that you can get uh, the equation of a straight line in form of y is equals to mx plus c and therefore the answer becomes y is equals to negative 3 over 4x plus a 4 and 3 over 4. That is it, the equation of a straight line. Uh, we have come to the end of uh, today's uh, lesson and you are going to do this as an assignment. Draw the line AB on a Cartesian plane given that the coordinates of A and B are uh, A, uh, 3 and 2, and B is supposed to be negative 3 and 5. For reference, uh, you can refer from secondary mathematics student uh, book 2 and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us at Erin TV using the following addresses. As you can see, they are well illustrated for you. And uh, the last one is uh, the Twitter at Erin TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Until uh, next lesson, Bye-bye.